He warned that his budget would be painful. Today, the Prime Minister defended that pain falling on pensioners. This week, Parliament votes on his plans to stop most pensioners claiming the winter fuel payment. This is really tough, and I do get that it's tough. Uh, it's not easy, and no Prime Minister wants to take a decision like this. But the winter fuel payments um, are now to be targeted. They were untargeted before, um, and I think everybody thought that wasn't a particularly good system, so it needed to be targeted. Obviously, those most in need will continue to get the payment. Until now, the winter fuel payment had been a universal benefit that even wealthy pensioners were eligible for. The tax-free yearly payment is £300 for those over 80 and £200 for younger recipients in England and Wales. Last winter, over 10 million people were eligible for the payment, but this winter that number is estimated to fall to just 1.5 million. The estimated saving to the public purse is £1.4 billion. A fraction of the £22 billion gap in the budget that the government says it needs to close. What do we want? Before the election, raising public sector pay had been an urgent call. In July, the pay rise the new government granted cost them £9 billion. And as Keir Starmer heads to the Trade Union Congress this week, he will be facing further calls to increase investment in public services. But at what price? And just who pays? We will be looking for a budget that is prioritising growth, steps to restore our public services. And I think you heard the Prime Minister say that those with the broadest shoulders need to bear the heaviest burden. And do pensioners have the broadest shoulders? Well, look, I think there are concerns about that winter fuel payment. You know, our conference is going to be debating that this week. Again, that's an opportunity, that budget, for the government to set out how it's going to support pensioners. This is the time of year when the weather changes, and so too is the political climate, as the Prime Minister faces a rebellion from Labour MPs in Parliament this week. Why are you prepared to rebel when we know that wealthy pensioners are eligible for this payment? We know that this is going to be means-tested, which means the most vulnerable will still be eligible. We know there's about a million pensioners above the pension credit threshold who are in fuel poverty. And taking away the winter fuel payment will mean that those people have that tough choice between heating and eating or indeed going cold. And that's why we need to protect the vulnerable. On Tuesday, Parliament is set for a standoff with the PM. And even if the government wins, the looming prospect of cuts and tax rises means more rounds with rebels. Pain will not only be felt by pensioners.